What is going on everybody, welcome back to EU4, it's Aragon, currently obviously winning a war with Castile, it's going pretty well for us. I, France declared this war, but yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well, it seems Castile are quite weak at the moment, I don't know if this, there's a reason for this, or they're just really weak, but yeah, this was pretty easy, so I'm wondering what's going on with Castile. Uh, oh, is Castile maybe at war with some other people? Or, Sav no, Savoy are just on our team, aren't they? No, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're just so outnumbered that it looks like they're weak when they're not. Maybe it's just that. Because that, Savoy are pretty strong now. Like They have a lot of provinces. Just we're starting to get a bit better picture of the uh, coast of South America. See, here is Castilian Brazil. A bit further north, we've got British Colombia. This is Portugal in the Caribbean. And the USA seems pretty untouched. Oh, they, they actually just beat me. I had a 40 stack. How is that even possible? Um, <laughs> okay, whatever. I was trying to siege out their final four, but... Apparently that's not going to work. I mean, we only lost 10,000 men. guess it was because I took the crossing penalty and everything. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. We have 82% war score. And I think France was here. I think they've gone away now. They're up here trying to deal with this mess. But yeah, I mean, I just got to make sure they don't start unseaging anything. We should be okay. Although they are actually starting to do that, which is kind of annoying. Okay, we have a load of money. Which I should probably spend. I don't really have the manpower now to rebuild the army, so it doesn't really matter. Either way, so I'm only using... I think I have two generals, that's all. Yeah, I was going to say, should I get an admiral and try and win the naval battle, but I don't think that would actually work out for us. If I stand here, because we've got it, I don't think we will count as... Uh-oh. Oh, we're about to go into a battle, yep. And we're going to lose. Oh, oh no, we won. Just. Just. That That's useful. We caught them when they were very far apart, but I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't planned. I just wanted to stand here. Instead, stop them unseaging that, because I don't think they'll actually attack me. Oh, my explorer died. No. Wait, what happens to the boats that are still out there when the explorer just dies? How, how does that work? I don't know if he died. I think he retired. I don't think it's that bad. Can I reach, like, the coast of Florida? No. My colonial range sucks. What is this? I can go to, like, these little islands, and that's it. I may have to t accept just that. Like, seriously? Can I go to West Africa? I can't even go here. How? I swear this is closer. Okay, I could go here, which would then allow... Oh, yeah, I think if I go, like, here, I would be able to then... Let me pick an island. I'm going to go for the middle one. It's nice and awkward. It's claimed by Portugal. Upset our relations with Portugal. How can... Okay, I don't know. Does, does it matter if I anger someone that much? Are all these islands claimed by Portugal? They are. Hmm. I'm allied to Portugal. Oh, I can go to South America, but Great Britain's claim Castile. How can Castile claim this? They're like, okay, we don't even like Castile. You know what? Screw them. <laughs> I'm going for it. Um, I do need to make like a unit to send over there. I need like a five infantry, probably. One, two, three, four of those. Let's give them one of these. It's probably not the best time to build this. But I don't think building them all in Barcelona is particularly efficient, so I'm going to do that again. Castile will give Corsica. Every single person got given stuff, right? I just want to point that out, except me. Yeah, I did more than any, probably anyone else. How, how does that work? Portugal's back to normal. I think Navarra just got... Navarra did, I think they annexed Navarra for a brief period of time. They're back now. France starting to take a lot of this. Okay. Well... At least we know what's going on now. Alright, what do I, I do need to do is fix this. Oh my goodness, this fleet has gone very far away. But they're doing okay without, without a general. It's quite impressive. Argentina's still open, but that is definitely too far away. Oh my goodness, that is a huge stack of rebels. <laughs> Just what I needed, a 38 stack of rebels. That really appreciate that. And that means I can't send these guys to where the colonist is going yet, which is going to cause even more pain. Oh, we could probably try and annex Navarra. I actually have a space in my relations. In fact, I only think I have two allies, so... Yeah, oh no, we have three. But yeah, we could definitely try and... Uh... Oh, they won't ally me, I don't think, anymore, because they got England and Castile now. So it's unlikely. The Netherlands declare independence and declared war on Castile. Ah, there you go. So that's a big blow to Castile again. This is good. Castile's having a tough time. That's what I like to see. Okay, now let's bring these guys over here. I want to make sure we deal with these rebels properly. <clears throat> I 
People are joining some republic. Oh, I think everyone's joining the Netherlands. That That's weird. Okay, well, that's gonna at least slow France down, maybe. Ooh. The Net wait, I'm allied to the Netherlands. Where, where did that come from? Yeah, when, when did that happen? I'm very confused. How am I at war with Castile again? What? Wait, what? Oh no, they're at war with Castile, but they are allied to me. I don't know how that happened. I may have clicked something without paying attention. Apparently I'm allied to the Netherlands. There we go. High naval attrition. Sorry, go. What would you expect me to do? Your island's called the Sandwich Islands. If there's not sandwiches there, that is your fault for going there. What does this say? Ever since... What does this mean? What does this mean? The time has come indeed. Sicilian becomes new primary culture. Lose two stability, 15 legitimacy, or just gain 10 prestige. There's not really a choice there, is there? I'll take the prestige. One of our vessels was lost. Oh, well, three vessels were lost, actually, game. That's what happens when the explorer retires, which means he probably got eaten by like some people off the South American coast. I, I don't really know what he's doing. Yeah, they're all gone. I can't really do anything about that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, let's get around here. Luckily, oh, they're about to finish this siege, which means... Doesn't it automatically end, though, once I kill the rebels? I have to unsiege it. Yep, all my boats are gone. Okay, that's that's good. Good job, I have a ton of money. No, don't go there, go here. I don't want to get... Oh, if I get a crossing penalty again. We nearly lost. We still might lose. We won, but there were some heavy losses there that I didn't really want. Thanks, game. Okay, let's put a halt on the exploring for a little bit. Because we can sort of see everything now. I don't need to risk boats like that. What I do need to do is send this six stack to whatever province I sent everyone else off to. Where did I send that colonist? I don't think there is going to be rebels, just because of my policy thing. But I think it is still possible. I don't know. Maybe it's a new thing. But yeah, I'm not taking any risks. Aragonese Brazil is going to come right in the middle of everything else. It's going to be a mess. But I think once we're here, we can then like maybe jump after North America. No one's claimed up here. I think our range might expand once we have like a province here. I don't know. I might be wrong, but maybe. Zero manpower. Just what we needed. Oh, there is a... Get out of the way. <laughs> Accidentally send them off. Okay, we kind of, I kind of want to have a leader on these guys, because sometimes that just does help, but... Do I send all 40 ships the whole way across the Atlantic? It's not that far. It's not like they're going half the... Anywhere near as far as those other boats went. So I think they'll be okay. And they like stop halfway. So they can restock on stuff. Lose papal states. But we can't do anything. Lose 25 prestige. Lose that. Lose one stability. They don't like me. There you go. Do that one. We have. I think the date has passed for the Iberian wedding. But we are about to have a queen. Because I mean King Marty is now 64. Which in 19, 1560 is not. Not usually a good, you know, that's pretty good to last that long. King of France is regents. Oh, it's a regency. But yeah, oh, the Netherlands are here. That shows you how bad Castile's game is going. Next time I will just declare war on them myself to take this land. What was I planning? Oh no, I did take Corsica away from Genoa. So that's another good little pick. I think we're still just a great power. We're just in that eighth spot. We need to start eating away at Castile, who are still above me somehow. Not sure how that works out. They, oh no, they're not even on here anymore. Never mind. Oops, some reformed zealots have risen up. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna send these boats back now. I don't know where they've. Oh, Corsica, of all places. What? The one time my transport ships are not here. Like seriously. At least this is only an eleven stack. I, I'd have to deal. Why am I improving relations with Castile? That was probably not what I was supposed to do. Navarra is now allied to Britain, which is going to be a pain. I don't know if you actually need to have them to form Spain, but if you do, it just got a whole lot harder. You are losing your great power status. Oh no, January 1566. Okay, we need to regrain our greatness. Re regrain our greatness? Regain our greatness. There we go. Um, when can I go off to Castile again? 1573. I don't even know what I can do then. Um, just colonize a lot, I guess. Could go after Albania. That would throw a spanner in the works. Probably drag me into loads of wars with Hungary. 
Lucas still allied to France. The Papal State. Oh, I do have a truce with the Papal State, but it sparked 1566. I mean, it doesn't matter if I lose great power status. Um, we'll get it back one day. I want to improve relations. Okay, yeah, let's build a spot, get a claim on the Papal State. Finally complete this idea group. That is good news. Oh, there's so many... These reform zealots are really starting to annoy me. Okay, hopefully now we finally catch up on diplomatic tech. We should be getting more. But our leaders just aren't very good at diplomacy, obviously. I mean, we have a zero. Marty has zero. That That's all you need to know. And Joan, the next... I, actually, that might... Yeah, it's a guy. Never mind, I thought it was a girl. So, I thought it was going to be like a Joanne. But no, it's just a guy called Joan. Free policy. Stamps Act. Hired adventurers. I just want better colonial range, to be honest. Are they all the same wherever I go? Okay, whichever box I fill, they're the same one. Tariffs plus 25%. Okay, let's go for that. That one's better. We're not really getting tariffs at the moment, or we don't have colonies to benefit from that. Let's try to kill these rebels now. <clears throat> oh, I got the other... Oh, I get both of them anyway. Never mind then. <laughs> May as well have both. There we go. Rebels are gone. Manpower is still ridiculously low, so we can't do any wars at the moment anyway. But yeah, the Papal State will probably propose that ally to Portugal. That, that would be a shame. To lose them, but I don't I still don't get how we got this alliance to the Netherlands, but whatever. It's cool. Problem is France might go after them and that can make cause some issues. I'll have to backstab them for France. Oh no, Marty died. It's not good. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. We got a new queen. Oh, personal union on monarch death. It's okay. Joan is fifteen and he's fertile, so we should get an heir. Doesn't matter at the moment. He should be fine. We're not going to war. Any, well, even if we did, he's not going to lead the armies. Why are so many provinces going reformed? Something going on over here. I have to keep converting them back. Ah, oh, this would be why. Okay. That's going to cause some more issues in the future. Either way, I need to build a load of stuff. I just noticed I have a ton of money. But I don't really have any building slots to build things in. Yep. And now I'm out. So I'm going to just build boats. Because... Can't build anything else. One, two, three. We're making like 13 ducats a month. When I say we're making a lot of money, that's what I mean. Let's build a load of those. Like 50 of 79 naval force limit. Let's try and get some more cogs. I don't know how many of these. Six. Okay, I want to get 12 of these so that we can transport the whole army at once. If we need to. There we go. That'll probably cost a ton of money. <laughs> Far too much money, probably. Oh, did we get excommunicated again? No. Okay, it's gone now, actually. We're not excommunicated anymore. That's a start. Who's this? Oh, Bohemia's going after Hungary and the Venetians. Maybe Hungary lose this. That makes things even more of a mess as all the big countries just start dying everywhere. I'm sure we have enough men anyway. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Looks like Lithuania is definitely going to be powerful, though. They're going after the Great Horde right now. Right in this pretty easy. Oh, we can become the Defender of the Faith. Enforce religious unit. It cost five. This will cost five hundred ducats. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. But either way, we are converting these provinces slowly back. I think staying Catholic is what the aim is here. I don't know. It's a big chunk of reformed over here though, which is obviously what the issue is. But yeah, Catholic. Okay, Catholicism seems to be dying actually. The Lithuania has done pretty well to spread it out this way. Well, the Venetians took a bit of land back. Not like they're not as big as they were, but they definitely took some back. Serbia going after Hungary. I saw Bulgaria's here now, which is pretty cool. Not sure how long they'll live, but it's pretty cool. Oh, Denmark, see, Lithuania is. Okay, they're huge now. Never mind. They just took a huge chunk out of the Great Horde. <clears throat> they overtook Great Britain, which is pretty impressive. I mean, it's impressive the Mamluks are second, but. It's, you know. They're just. Oh, they're going after the Timurids now, which is great news, actually. Because it would push the Timurid... Oh, ah, Castile. Castile overtook me. What is this game? This game's rubbish. Oh, we got we got an heir. Problem is he is also... <laughs> Terrible at diplomacy. A 614. Like, seriously? I can't we just get one? Good at diplomatic power. Okay, France just unrivaled Castile. Because obviously they're not really comparable anymore. And uh, they rivaled Austria. So that's going to mean... There's about to be some big wars in Europe, probably. And I'm probably going to be involved. 
That, that's fun. Austria is no longer allied to Hungary. Hungary, in fact, have no allies, which is, I assume, why Bohemia is just destroying them right now. So I have the fifth biggest army in the world. It's bigger than France's at the moment in total. They do have more manpower and a bigger force limit. But there's not too much in it between all the top nations. The only real difference is the Mamluks have actually gone up towards their force limit. Everyone else has got force limits in the 80s and has numbers in the 40s to 50,000s. So that's interesting. Uh, oh, the Papal States lost an alliance, which is nice. Um, I can go after them pretty soon. They're actually at war right now. But they're a defender against Saxony. Oh. Either way, I'm probably going to go after... I'm going to go make this happen. Wait, hang on. Who am I going to be at war with if I do this? <laughs> I think I might... Oh, Castile as well. Yeah, I don't want to do it if it's on my own. Portugal wouldn't join. But yeah, once the truce kicks in, maybe some other people would join in, which would be useful. Because I'd love to get my hands on Roma. That would definitely, surely, put me back ahead of Castile. I think they're only going up on the Great Powers, because they're colonising so much quicker. My colonist is, like, stupidly slow. It's really annoying. So, yeah, don't get too excited yet. There's not too much going on out here. I don't actually need the six... I don't think I actually need the army, because I want to change my native policy, and I'm going to have to find the button for that one. Ah, here. Global settler increase plus 20. So if I go to this, we'll lower our stability by one. Oh. It's okay, I'm quite far ahead on like that, so I can boost, I can use the admin power to boost it eventually. I think that means rebels might pop up now, but, well not rebels, but like people against it, but it means it's three times faster, so that will help. Okay, our truce with the papal state has expired, and France would join in. Good old France. Um, okay, well let's send our troops over. I will deal with the papal state, and hopefully France will deal with Castile. That's, that's my that's my plan here. Although I probably should go after Castile. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, if we take out the Papal State quickly, I'm not too bothered about... take. I mean, we've got a truce with Castile, so I don't think taking stuff from them is the best idea. So I probably should have split my navy up there, since we now have, you know, one capable of transporting everyone at once. They should each have, like, their own personal navy. So please, France, don't get into any wars while I'm busy. Please, just, just this once. Because every time I've gone to declare war, France has beaten me to it. So Ferrara will also join. So I'll have to push through the Papal State. I don't know how I'll get to Ferrara with boats, I guess. Be the obvious answer. At least Portugal's not going to join. They they know they know what to do. Okay, finally, Diplomatic Tech 9. It's a start. 12, 9, 13. Very unbalanced here. Also, the institution's really hard to get. It's the same for almost everybody. It's spreading really slowly from Prussia. Like, even though it's been 17 years, it's spreading ridiculously slowly. Right then, let's call in the French. And let's go. Conquest of Roma. Boom. In you go. Let's go blockade them from this side. There we go. Let's see. Ferrara and Castile join in. Yep, this should be pretty easy. 42, 18, 12, 5, 37, 10. Yes, this should be pretty easy. And France actually joined, which is good news for me. Also, they only have one fort, which should make this pretty easy. Oh, we're winning battles left, right, and center. Nice. Okay, Castile is taking control of some of my provinces, but like I said, it doesn't matter. We'll go deal with them in a moment. It's just... We don't even have to deal with them. I don't... Like, what? Yeah, once we've got the papal... St oh, no. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for the Papal State first, but either way, it doesn't matter too much. Because we're going to then have to go... Oh, see, Savoy is already in Ferrara in a separate war, which doesn't really help out. Because it means they're just in the way. Because I was going to have to go after them next, probably. Anyway, let's go finish this. Rome will probably be worth a lot. The problem is we are going to have to definitely go after Castile. Ah, oh, but France is here already. See, France knows what they're doing. Good job, France. Okay, but well that's going to be it for this episode, though, so be sure to check out the next one if you want to see what happens with this war. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you've enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.